Coming to you live from the UTRGV Fieldhouse in the three-time All-American City of Edinburgh, this is UTRGV Men's Basketball. Tonight, UTRGV plays its final regular season home game, and they do so against California Baptist University. Well, the math is simple now, Brian. UTRGV wins. They're the two seed. If they lose, they could drop to the three or the four seed in next week's WAC tournament. And UTRGV is in the driver's seat as it relates to their success. And if anything can be seen, what they did against Grand Canyon shows that this team is starting to fire on all cylinders. They've just got to carry that through against a strong Lancers team tonight. UTRGV coming off of a convincing win. They beat Grand Canyon 88 to 80 on the road. Yeah, arguably the freest this year charge the offense has looked all season is what they saw out in Phoenix against Grand Canyon. The passing was crisp, the shooting was even better, and you saw a level of grit to the shoot charge of team that was exceptional as this team looks to come home and finish the regular season. California Baptists, on the other hand, they're coming off a blowout loss at New Mexico State as they fell in that one, 83 to 50. We'll take a break. When we come back, starting lineups and tip off, this is UTRGV Men's Basketball on the WAC Digital Network and Q94.5, the rock station. Town Place Suites by Marriott, Edinburgh's newest destination spot and a host hotel of UTRGV Athletics with the amenities that a frequent long-stay traveler or visiting team in town to take on the V Nation looks for. The nightlife is amplified with Ignite Lounge, a great way to wrap up a long work day or celebrate a big win. Town Place Suites by Marriott on Trenton in between Business 281 and Sugar Road and minutes away from the excitement of UTRGV. Town Place Suites by Marriott, Edinburgh. There is a magic to this valley and to this university. We are champions in the arena, in the halls, and in our community. The Valley's pride. The Valley's future. The Valley's university. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, now open in Edinburgh, across the street from the university. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, a proud sponsor of UTRGV Athletics, showing everyone one love. Whether it's a pregame meal or a postgame celebration, Raising Cane's has got you covered, open late and ready to serve. Raising Cane's, now open in Edinburgh, across from the university, serving nothing but one love. Welcome back out to the UTRGV Fieldhouse. Alongside Brian Smith, I'm Jonah Goldberg. UTRGV California Baptist getting ready for a senior night clash. Let's get you to the starting lineups. We'll start with visiting California Baptist. Dangerous group of folks in the backcourt. Brandon Boyd running the offense with Milan Aqua at the two and Fran Flavors Jr. at the three. Dejon Davis and Zach Farag up front. As for UTRGV, it's a senior day lineup. All the seniors are out there. Javon Levi, the junior, runs the offense. Graduate student Jordan Jackson at the two, and freshman Quentin Johnson at the three. Leslie Varner at the four, and senior Isaiah Fontaine getting the start at the five. Head coaches for UTRGV, it's Lou Hill in his fourth season. He's got his team eight and two in its last 10. And on the other side, it's California Baptist. Coached by Rick Croy, second place in the WAC. 21 wins and on their way to a postseason tournament. Brian, your keys to the game. Well, for UTRGV, it's going to be about throwing out those dimes. This is the UTRGV team that returned to championship caliber form in their last out. We talked about it, shooting about 50% against Grand Canyon. A big part of that success, though, how well they distributed the ball. 13 assists compared to just six total turnovers and a big victory. And then looking at the Lancers of CBU, got to find those multiple scoring options. They shot a season low, 29% from the floor in that lopsided loss to Mexico State. Milan Aqua, the only guy that can muster a consistent shot, and he only scored 15. Can they get Aqua and one or two more players active offensively? If so, that could spark this offense. UTRGV wins the tip. We're underway, moving right to left across your radio dial, computer screen, television screen, tablet, phone, however you may be pulling this one in. UTRGV wearing white. 
California Baptist wearing navy. The jumper is good for Jordan Jackson, and that's a good way to start senior day for the grad student. Vaquero's up 2-0, 30 seconds in Milan, Aqua. Running the offense for the Lancers. Aqua, the reigning WAC player of the year, loses it. Grabbed by Johnson. And there's Jackson with the dunk! Javon Levi jumping up and down the court, throwing his arms in the air, telling everybody get going. He laughs, he's screaming in Milan Aqua's face as he guards him, trying to poke that ball away. Hey, guess what? Jordan Jackson just dunked again. Get in line now, that's been a go-to. Aqua gets fouled and he hits a shot. He sent a ball up on the rim and it just kind of hung there for a few seconds. For those watching online, we get another look. Levi with the dish for Jackson and an emphatic start to what could be his final home game. So Aqua at the line for free throws. Or free throw, he misses. Rebound, Isaiah Fontaine, here come the Vaqueros. Levi calls out the play, hands it to Johnson. Jackson is left for Johnson, left corner Varner. Give it to Jackson. Launches a three, rims out, rebound for Og, back we go the other way. Aqua spins into the lane, puts up a shot, no good. Fontaine, the rebound, gives it to Levi. Levi up the right side, give it to Johnson, left wing, launches a three, bingo! The Carols have come out on fire. They lead seven to two. Aqua from Boyd. Give it up to Prague. Back to Aqua. Boyd on the right side. Boyd up against Varner with three. He's got two, lost it. Let's it fly right before the buzzer. No, Fontaine, another rebound. This time he gets tied up. Possession arrow favors California Baptist. Take another look, Fontaine thought he had it, but Deshaun Davis gets his hand in there to force the jump ball. So shot clock at 20, 17.38 game clock. Inbound Parag. Give it to Flavors. Davis, left side against Jackson. Davis comes into the lane, throws up with the right hand, off the back iron, rebound Fontaine, back we go the other way. Levi taking it to his right. There's a lob for Varner. In front of the CBU bench, launches a jumper, doesn't go. Rebound Aqua. Aqua comes literally running into the lane. He misses a shot, it goes out of bounds, and they're gonna... Well, what are they gonna do? The official walked over toward the table and then he turned around and came back, Lancer's ball. 24 on the shot clock. Aqua passes it to Quentin Johnson. He plays for the Vaqueros, so that's a turnover. Pass to Jackson on the right wing. Give it to Varner. He's open for three. Too strong. Rebound Davis. Seven to two. UTRGV leads California Baptist. Three and a half minutes gone by. Flavors, a deep three from the top is good. It's a seven to five ball game. And that's a design play for this Lancer team. They ran that 20 or 30 times pregame, working on being able to hit that top of the key three on a scramble. It's seven to five right now. UTRGV's lead is two. As the ball comes down low for Fontaine, the little baby hook doesn't go. Rebound Davis. CBU with five points to UTRGV seven. 
Ball out to Flavors, left wing three is good. And now California Baptist has the lead. It's eight to seven. California Baptist with eight points. Levi, down low looking for Johnson. Out to the left wing, Jackson. Comes along the baseline, give it in the lane to Fontaine. The hook shot is good. Isaiah Fontaine on senior day. The Vaqueros back on top, it's 9-8. Four and a half minutes gone by. Aqua comes in, pass out to the right corner. Boyd for three, it doesn't make it. Johnson, the rebound, ahead for Varner. Varner moving back to his left. This is the left wing, Jackson, left corner, Johnson for three. Too strong, comes back out for Parag. Boyd across the timeline. Gets fouled. Now we're up against the media timeout. 14.56 to play, opening half. UTRGV leads 9 to 8. This is UTRGV men's basketball on the WAC Digital Network and Q94.5, the rock station. Draft House, civilized burgers for uncivilized appetites. We all want the best for our families, to love, to laugh, to live a healthy life. At UT Health RGV, we believe every family should have access to the most advanced medical care right here close to home. With over 100 board certified doctors at 20 locations valley-wide, with life-saving procedures and treatments that keep you and your family healthy, UT Health RGV is here for you. High quality care for every patient, for every family. Find your way to the best care at uthealthrgv.org. Here at Top Golf, we believe every shot is worth celebrating. Even that shot? Heck yeah. Break it down, girl. Oh. There's no pressure to be good here, like at all. What if I just want to chill? Then chill. That's what the sofas are for. This sofa? Yeah. Make yourself at home. What if I am at home? Then book a bay and get to Top Golf. Smashed it feels appropriate. Post a social and <laughs> yep, your friends are so ridiculous. That's okay. It's everyone's game. Attention kids 13 and under. Do you want free admission to Utah to be basketball, baseball, and volleyball games? How about a free t-shirt or a personalized birthday card from your favorite Utah to be team? That is so much more awaits members of the Junior Vaqueros Club, presented by Buffalo Wings and Rings. So go get your mom and dad, and ask if you join the club by visiting gochargev.com slash junior vaqueros. Brandon Boyd heads to the line for California Baptist. Boyd. Idaho State transfer, hits the first free throw. Boyd, fifth year. Had a good season, averaging over 11 points per game. Boyd hits both shots. 85% free throw shooter. And California Baptist leads 10-9. Quinton Johnson with the basketball, puts up a jumper for the Vaqueros, doesn't fall. There's a foul on the rebound. It's on Boyd. Looks like he pushed Jackson while going for the rebound. Oh, first on CBU. And now comes Chris Freeman. Freeman coming off an 18 point outburst at Grand Canyon. Give it to Levi. Comes inside, Levi. Pass out, right wing, Jackson takes a step in, puts up a jumper, it's good! Jordan Jackson with three buckets. UTRGV leads 11-10. Boyd. 
coming in. Pass out left wing. Aqua for three. It's good. And the Lancers lead 13-11. Six minutes gone by. Levi. Pass left corner. Johnson for three. No good. Rebound Aqua. Back we go the other way. Aqua into the lane. Pass underneath and Morrison was trying to hop out of the way. It's a travel. It's ETRGV ball. Charge of E defense has been swarming this evening. The difference, though, has been when they've swarmed, CBU has been able to sling it out and find someone for an open jumper, and CBU's hitting their shots. John Jackson, a jumper, doesn't fall. Here comes CBU. Flavors underneath, stolen. Levi, Alley, oh, Jackson tips it in. Ties the game at 13. That's a look at Jackson's hanging ability. He was floating up there for so long that he was actually past the play, couldn't dunk it, but has the wherewithal to get a hand on that and just lay it in. Flavors puts it in for CBU and a three-pointer puts the Lancers up 16-13. 12 and a half minutes to go in the first. Levi underneath looking for Sean Ray who travels. CBU basketball. Flavors, handed off for Aqua at the top, launches a three, doesn't go. Rebound, Morrison who puts it back in. Answers by five. Jackson, left corner, three, off the back iron. Rebound, Flavors, back we go the other way. Wall, down low for Morrison, Ray blocks it. Levi, underneath the Varner layup, good, and the foul. Leslie Varner will have a chance to convert a three-point play when we return. 11 minutes, 38 seconds to play. Opening half, 18-15, California Baptist. This is ETRGB Men's Basketball on the WAC Digital Network and Q94.5, the rock station. In the minute it takes, do not back your drink. Spot your new crush or cheer on the home team, you could do something that really makes a difference. Sign up as an organ donor. In less than a typical timeout, you could sign up to save eight lives. It sure beats using a minute to mustard that hot dog. Sign up at TOSA1.org. Come out and be a part of the hottest tailgate party in the Rio Grande Valley, Baquero Village. A place to hang out, network, and get ready for UTRGV basketball games. Tailgating at Vaquero Village means drinks, good food, and a family-friendly atmosphere, complete with a bounce house. You can even reserve an exclusive lounge area for your family, friends, or corporate party. Just give us a call at 956-665-3877, and we'll help you get the party started. You've waited long enough. Now let us wait on you at the Santa Fe Steakhouse and Cantina. Experience an enchanting escape where our creative chefs, attentive staff, 600 wine selection, delicious cocktails, live music, award-winning steak and seafood are all designed for a very special guest. You. Claim your steak at the Santa Fe Steakhouse and Cantina in McAllen. Can't get enough you charge me basketball? We've got you covered. 
tune in to UCRG Coaches Show every Tuesday from 7 to 8, right here on Q94.5, the Rock Station. Get all the latest from Coaches Hill and Lord, student athletes, and more. You can even join us live at Buffalo Wings and Rings on South 10th Street, across the street from La Plaza Mall in McAllen. That's UCRG Coaches Show every Tuesday at 7, right here on Q94.5, the Rock Station. Leslie Varner. Converts the three-point play by hitting a free throw. UCRG within two, 18-16. California Baptist still at the lead, 11.38 to play in half number one. UCRG shooting very well, seven for 16 from the floor, 44%. But CBU, six of 13, 46%. Jordan Jackson's taking nearly half the Vaquero shots. He's four for seven, eight points in what could be his final home game. And how about Javon Levi? He's got six assists and two steals. We're eight and a half minutes in. Well, that's pretty good. Well, that's what you've come to expect from Javon Levi, just distributing the ball, being an absolute pest on defense, and powering this UTRGV team with his effort. Qual misses a three left corner for CBU. Rebound, Lancer, second opportunity. Ball down low to Davis. Pass out left wing for Flavors. He lowers the shoulder, bumps into Freeman to draw the foul. Davis. Turn around layup is good. Davis. John Davis put CBU up 20 to 16. Levi give it to Varner at the top. Varner, right corner, Freeman. Right wing three. No good. Rebound, Aqua. On the right wing for Boyd. Left wing, Aqua. Pass to the left wing for Qual. Chance of defense going from the UTR should be faithful. Boyd draws a foul. Oh, coming in from the left wing. That's four on UTRGV. Trey Armstrong in, Brandon Boyd out for California Baptist. Aqua getting doubled out near midcourt. Levi tried to get a hand on the ball. Pass comes to Qual, left corner, comes into the lane, shot no good, rebound Davis, put back try, no, rebound Ray, back will go the other way. Levi comes into the lane, turns around, feeds Freeman at the top. Freeman, left corner, Levi for three, off the back iron, Ray can't hold on. The rebound ends up in Aqua's hands, here come the Lancers. Wall, left wing three, too strong. Rebound Varner, here come the Vaqueros. Varner, stops, pops, no good. Rebound Aqua. Davis with the basketball right. Comes into the lane, puts it up off the glass, no. Rebound Ray. You try to be getting stops. Their defense is reaching its peak. What they've got to do though is hit shots right now as they have gone ice cold from the floor. Levi passes into the backcourt where it gets picked up by Flavors. He passes to Aqua coming up left side. His layup no good but a foul. That's on Rob McClain. Clayne, just a little late getting back there. And a, quite a bit of contact as Aqua was going up. Didn't really affect the shot so much as he just kind of bodied him up on the floor. That's where he draws the foul. And now Aqua will get a chance to break what's been a relatively lengthy scoring drought on both sides as defense have taken over. Aqua 
This is off the back iron. Jordan Jackson, Anthony Bratton in, Sean Ray, John Levi out for UTRGV. Aqua's second shot is good. 21-16 Lancers as Brandon Boyd places Milan Aqua. Jackson, left wing Varner. Right wing Freeman, bounce for Bratton. In the lane, throws up with the right hand, off the front iron, rebound Freeman and he falls out of bounds and shows frustration with himself as he throws the ball on the ground. CBU basketball. And Freeman looked like he was trying to call timeout in the air. The problem was he couldn't get his hands together because of where he had the basketball. Gotta love the effort though, as Freeman just gutted a rebound out of that one. However, his momentum was carrying him out. Boyd, top for Davis. Ball, give it to the right wing, Boyd. Boyd moving to his left, he's straight away. Gets a screen, tries to come through traffic, doesn't work out. He ends up losing the ball to Varner. Here come the Vaqueros. Hand off for Jackson. Left wing, Freeman. Works his way right, give it to Jackson, coming in right side. Stops, pass out to Freeman at the top. 13 on the shot clock, 12. Freeman throws it up, no good, but a foul. Free throws when we return. 7.55 to play in the first. California Baptist leads UTRGV 21-16. This is UTRGV Men's Basketball on the WAC Digital Network and Q94.5, the rock station. There is a place where the Republic lives on. It is in our authentic Mexican cuisine, in our drinks, and our live entertainment. Come enjoy our historic ambiance and inviting staff, where the legacy of the Republic lives on. Viva la Revolución at the Republic of the Rio Grande. Support. Some call it the foundation of success. Joining the V-Club assists in the success of our student athletes. Preparing our student athletes for excellence in life. March 11th through the 14th, be a part of the madness and witness the triumph. Ticket information, go to waxsports.com. I want to show your support for you charge me in style? Then log on to youchargeyourgear.com today to choose from a large variety of clothing for adults and children, including infants and toddlers. You can even get something for your pet. How about some drinkware, a watch, or a duffel bag? It's all there and so much more. Now through March 16th, get 50% off all drinkware. You're already on the internet, so open up a new browser window and log on to uchargingegear.com to get your uchargingegear Gear right now. Back we are at the UTRG Fieldhouse alongside Brian Smith. I'm Jonah Goldberg. 7.55 to play in the first half. California Baptist leads UTRGV 21-16. Make it 21-17 as Chris Freeman hits the first free throw. One more coming up. Got fouled right before the break. One of two games going on in the WAC today. Going on right now simultaneously. Freeman hits the second. It's a three-point game. Midway through the first half in Phoenix, Grand Canyon leads CSU Bakersfield 17 to 12. Why that's important, we'll tell you in a second. I'll tell you right now. It's kind of range just drew a charge. It's UTRGV ball. 
So these are the last two games in the WAC before the WAC tournament. For UTRGV, if they win, they're the two seed. Nothing else matters. However, if UTRGV does not win this game, then they will either be the three or the four seed in next week's WAC tournament. And that will depend on the outcome of the Grand Canyon CSU Bakersfield game because of tiebreakers. If Grand Canyon holds on to win and UTRGV loses, they'll be the four seed. If Bakersfield wins and UTRGV loses, then UTRGV is the three seed. Freeman, jumper comes up short. Rebound, boy, here come the Lancers. You want to make it real simple for UTRGV? Just win. Missed jumper by Nottage. Putback try by Davis goes out of bounds. UTRGV ball. The way the effort has gone in this one, whoever picks up the win is going to have earned it and earned it the hard way because these two teams are playing their hearts out here on senior night. Shooting percentages starting to dip just a little bit. They were red hard to open and the defensive have really taken over of late. Jackson throws it into the hands of Seth Jones. He is our assistant athletic director for corporate sponsorships, which means the ball was out of bounds. And cool luck the other side of the pillow, may I add. Just makes that catch and like an old pro slings it back over to the referee. No big deal. You know, he played baseball collegiately back in his day. Aqua shot is knocked away by Jackson. And the ball ends up going out of bounds. It's going to stay with CBU. Jordan Jackson, as he gets back up, comes running over to argue that should be Vaquero's ball. See, Jackson blocked the ball. I think he thought it was out of bounds when he went diving for it initially. But in a funny way, his dive may have actually screened out the refs from seeing if it bounced out of bounds. Hard to tell right there whether or not it did bounce out. But it gets turned over anyway. Vaquero's ball. Jackson, give it to Reigns. Left corner for two. Got it! Connor Reigns! Makes this a one-point game. They're announcing a three. That was inside the arc, wasn't it? I couldn't see from my angle. But maybe he somehow got a toe behind that gray line. All right. So we're tied at 21. Reigns isn't complaining. No. Aqua for three, left wing, doesn't go. Rebound, Bratton. Out of bounds. UTRGV ball. So 544 to play. Game tied at 21. Between UTRGV and California Baptist. Reigns, handed off for Levi. Foul line jumper doesn't go. Rebound Davis. Right wing, Flavor steps in for two, doesn't go. Rebound Boyd, second chance for a CBU. Ball inside for Davis left. Matchup with Bratton with 10. Throws it up with the right hand, no. Rebound put back, Nottage. California Baptist leads by two, 23-21. Five minutes to go in the first. That's two offensive rebounds on the same possession that CBU picked up just by attacking the boards. Right place, right time, ball ends up right in their hands. Barner gives it to the cutting. Jackson for a layup in the lane. Jordan Jackson. Ties the game at 23. And Jordan Jackson may be setting one of his best performances of the season for senior night. He is flying around and picking up buckets. You can just see that aggressive determination. He doesn't want to leave anything in reserve for his last home game. Ball underneath, stolen. Bradson for Levi. Into the lane, Levi misses the layup. Rebound, Nottage. Boyd comes underneath, Jackson goes for the block. They call a foul. 
That's two on Jackson. So he heads to the bench as Uche Dibiamaka checks in. So is Isaiah Fontaine. No, Jackson does not come out. It was Connor Raines and Anthony Bradson. The way Jackson went to the bench, I think he assumed after two he was coming out or he was just frustrated and needed to walk it off a little. Not 100% on that. Quinton Johnson waiting to check in for UTRGV. Brandon Boyd heads to the foul line in a tie game. First shot is good. Lancers by one. Johnson in, Jackson out. Now Jackson can go to the bench. Lancers by one. 247 seconds left until halftime. After that good free throw, CBU leads 25-23. Johnson give it to Varner. Straight away, handoff for Levi. Levi backs up a step with 12. He's got 11. Give it to Varner right side. Comes in, turns around, feeds Levi at the top. Six on the shot clock, five, four, Three, two, one, Levi. The scoop shot tipped by Johnson off the rim, but no. Rebound, Prague. Three and a half minutes till halftime. Aqua underneath for Prague, who puts it in. CBU up 27 23. Levi, left corner, Johnson for three. Rebound, Parag. Here come the Lancers. Jarrett needs to stop to stop a run from, a, from starting for CBU. Boyd, three ball, off the back iron. Rebound, tipped in the hands of Levi. Here come the Vaqueros. Levi forces up a shot, doesn't go. Aqua comes in from the top for CBU. Gives it to Parag underneath. Layup no good, but a foul. Free throws when we return. 2.36 to play until halftime. 27-23, California Baptist. This is UTRG Men's Basketball on the WAC Digital Network and 294.5, The Rock Station. Town Place Suites by Marriott, Edinburgh's newest destination spot and a host hotel of UTRGV Athletics with the amenities that a frequent long-stay traveler or visiting team in town to take on the V Nation looks for. The nightlife is amplified with Ignite Lounge, a great way to wrap up a long work day or celebrate a big win. Town Place Suites by Marriott on Trenton in between Business 281 and Sugar Road and minutes away from the excitement of UTRGV. Town Place Suites by Marriott, Edinburgh. There is a magic to this valley and to this university. We are champions in the arena, in the halls, and in our community. The Valley's pride. The Valley's future. The Valley's university. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, now open in Edinburgh, across the street from the university. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, a proud sponsor of UTRGV Athletics, showing everyone one love. Whether it's a pregame meal or a postgame celebration, Raising Cane's has got you covered, open late and ready to serve. Raising Cane's, now open in Edinburgh, across from the university, serving nothing but one love. Welcome back out to the Utrechtry Fieldhouse. Alongside Jonah Goldberg, I'm Brian Smith. 2.36 left to play in the opening half. 
CBU leads you charge of E27, 22. A big part of that, CBU is hitting their three-pointers. They've made four compared to just two for UTRGV. Coming into the timeout, it's a quick foul. It's going to put Pirogue on the line. So it's like a couple to try to extend this Lancer lead for play-by-play. -play. Here's Jonah Goldberg. Thank you, Brian Smith. Drugs, first free throw, oh, doesn't fall in. Second shot is good. 28-22 CBU. Johnson, handoff for Levi. Varner for Fontaine. Jumper is good. GR2 within four, 28-24. Aqua bringing it down. Davis, left wing Boyd for three, no good. Rebound, Johnson tries to save it into the hands of Cheryl Swoops. Still got some handles. She caught that on the deflection, spun it in the palm of her off hand, handed it to the referee. The greatest women's basketball player of all time. Also Jordan Jackson's mother sitting courtside for senior day. She still got it. Johnson is the ball on the left wing. Pass out to Levi near midcourt. Levi comes in the lane, lays it up. No, rebound Fontaine underneath. And he gets fouled going up for a shot. Free throw's coming. Look at Isaiah Fontaine putting in some work. He's two for three from the floor. He's also picked up four rebounds now to lead all UTRG players. And look at the muscle just gutting it. He was surrounded by blue jerseys and somehow came away with the rebound and got to draw the foul. Well, Isaiah Fontaine had a golden opportunity entering this game, and he's hits the first free throw. He's, he's taken advantage so far. Fontaine started. That means he's, he was guaranteed to play. He hasn't played every game, and sometimes he only gets in for a few minutes. But he said, look, this is my opportunity. I'm going to prove I belong on the court, and that way when I do come out, I'll come back in. And I'm going to be a key contributor, and Fontaine's got five points and four rebounds. He's two for three from the field. One for two from the line in eight minutes. He's doing everything you possibly ask for him. Looking to make sure he ends his UTRG Fieldhouse tenure on a high note as Aqua misses the three. Foul on Morrison on the rebound, and it's UTRGV. Ball is actually. A one and one coming. That's foul seven on California Baptist with 61 seconds left until halftime. It'll be something to watch the minutes that Fontaine gets. His season high in WAC competition came well just a few games ago. Back on February 27th, he had 16 minutes against CSU Bakersfield. Johnson misses the free throw. Three-point game. Aqua coming up right side, giving the top for Davis. Here comes Boyd, spinning into the lane, puts up the right elbow, leaner, doesn't go. Divi Amaka the rebound. Give it to Levi, who takes it across the timeline. Barner to Levi. Comes to the foul line, forced underneath the Fontaine, misses. Rebound comes rolling out, picked up by Aqua with the shot clock off, 27 seconds left. Aqua looked away for a second. They tried to get a steal. Now comes underneath Morrison. for a dunk by Morrison. And they double teamed Aqua. They left somebody open. 
California Baptist up 5, 30 to 25. 9.7 ticks of the clock remaining as ETRGV calls for time out. Congratulations to Paul May, our first Community Bank Student Athlete of the Week. May won the WAC Indoor Track and Field Championships in the shot put and the weight throw while breaking the program record in the shot put last week. Well, the banks have branches. First Community Bank has roots in Harlingen, San Benito, Brownsville, McAllen, Los Fresnos, South Padre Island, and Raymondville. For more information, log on to fcbtx.com. Nine WAC championships for the indoor track and field team last week. Heck of an effort. Max Carmona, Brownsville Veterans alum, came away with two in the 800 meter run and also was part of a four by 400 meter relay team that won a title. 9.7 seconds remaining until halftime. UTRGV down five to CBU and with the basketball. Levi dribbling it out with five, he's got four. Levi giving it to Barner, left corner, Johnson open for three, yes! We go into the half and the Vaqueros are within two. 30 to 28. So UTR should be used its timeout. They drew up the play and they took advantage. Two point game, 30 to 28. UTR should be trails California Baptist at the half. We'll take a break when we come back. We'll fire up the halftime show. We'll be joined by UTR should be men's soccer head coach Paul Lease. We'll take a look at your stats and then we'll take a look at the WAC and go over seeding scenarios. This is UTR should be men's basketball on the WAC Digital Network and Q94.5, the rock station. House. Civilized burgers for uncivilized appetites. We all want the best for our families. To love, to laugh, to live a healthy life. At UT Health RGV, we believe every family should have access to the most advanced medical care right here close to home. With over 100 board certified doctors at 20 locations valley-wide, with life-saving procedures and treatments that keep you and your family healthy, UT Health RGV is here for you. High quality care for every patient, for every family. Find your way to the best care at uthealthrgv.org. Here at Top Golf, we believe every shot is worth celebrating. Even that shot? Heck yeah. Break it down, girl. Oh. There's no pressure to be good here, like at all. What if I just want to chill? Then chill. That's what the sofas are for. This sofa? Yeah. Make yourself at home. What if I am at home? Then book a bay and get to Top Golf. Smashed it feels appropriate. Post a social, and <laughs> yep, your friends are so ridiculous. That's okay. It's everyone's game. Welcome back out to the UTRGV Fieldhouse. Jonah Goldberg with you. Halftime score. California Baptist leads UTRGV 30 to 28. Men's basketball action here in Edinburgh. We're now joined by UTRGV men's soccer head coach. Paul Lease and coach, your team beat the RGV FC Toros the other day, a pro team. I just want to yes. let that sink in for a second. Yeah. So that's pretty awesome. It, it was, <laughs> yeah. Fantastic experience. We, we, we've played a number of the pro teams this spring. We're very fortunate as well with our location, with the relationship we have, you know, with the guys, whether it's RGV FC, whether it's at Houston Dynamo, Austin Ball we traveled up to. Th those guys have been fantastic with us. So we get to play them during the spring. Yes, the final game. You know, I, I, I've got to say for us, we had six freshmen on the field. We had two spring transfers. So it was a very young group, but very exciting for them. Um, but these games during the spring, particularly on the pro side, they're preparing for that. They've got their home opener uh, coming up this weekend. They're preparing their team in a lot of different ways. So they, they try new things. Um, so even though our boys did a fantastic job, you know, the experience for them just playing at that speed is really what we get out of those spring games. So I can't thank those guys enough. I, I'm really looking forward to watching their season too. They've got a couple of our guys on their roster, so really excited to watch them play. Yeah, Kyle Edwards, Isidro Martinez, you've really had a knack for sending guys to the pro level since you've been here. Yeah, and I, and I think that now has really started to sink in the relationship we have with the professional teams. The coaches now see, based off the players that are doing the job in the USL and in the MLS, um, they see the kind of players that we develop, 
And, you know, just the intelligence and the preparedness, I think that our guys arrive in the professional ranks, they're ready to go. Because it's a massive transition. Every level that you step up, the high school guys that come in and play college uh, soccer, they've got to adjust to the speed of play. It's the same for our soccer guys, our, our college guys, when they go into the pros. So I think now their preparedness and their ability to step up right away and play has been recognized. So we're, we're doing a very good job. I'm really pleased to see them and hopefully continue to be successful. How much does it help you in recruiting when uh, you're able to send your guys to go play, not only professionally, but with the local team so they can get watched while they're playing collegiately? Yeah, I think both those aspects are massive for, for us in the program. Obviously, we get a lot of high-level players who want to play professionally. So when we can show and identify two players that are already in that environment and being successful, it obviously shows, it, it proves to them that, hey, I can come in and develop and be seen and hopefully help myself get into the pro game. And when we play I mean, four pro games in the spring, there's not many D1 college programs in the country that will play four professional games out of the five total we're permitted. So not only does that allow them to prepare and get used to the level, but it also allows the pro coaches to get their eyes on them. So now it's a, it's a fantastic situation here, and, and I think we're really now starting to build that reputation throughout the country, particularly in the, the USL and the MLS. And your team has been uh, growing and getting better. This is just your fifth year after building a team from scratch, and you're already in the top 25 rankings at times this year. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that certainly made me feel proud because I came in, and, and it was certainly difficult starting from scratch and trying to build in the, the team identity we had to create from nothing, the whole chemistry, the whole style of play. And we took our time. We built it layer by layer. I, I knew the kind of team that I wanted, and, and, and I was hopeful that I would get there. And then obviously in year three, we really started to see it take shape. And now with our fourth season, you know, finishing joint top on points in the, in the WAC for the last two years, top 50 ranking now, top 25, I think it has now proven not only to the, the players and hopefully the, the community, it's proven it to me that yes, we're doing it the right way and we're able to build, build a team that we know that can be successful at this level. What does that mean for the Valley to be able to, to build a team like that down here and also the, the support you've gotten from the Valley? You've had some really good crowds. Yeah, I, I think that makes it all the more enjoyable from my standpoint. You know, we've had players like Isidro Martinez, who was with me from year one, you know, a Brownsville Rivera alum, fantastic young man, fantastic player, but, you know, true character, disciplined, committed. Can't speak more highly of him. And now to see him obviously doing well with the, the RGVFC. So to have that community support, to have the local programs, the high school coaches, the RGBFC with their, their Toros Academy, and we've got a couple of those guys on our team right now, Luis Rubio, Jose Cantu. So to see those players coming into our environment, learning, growing, and being successful, I, I think now permeates into the local community. And again, they're showing it by coming out to support us. So please continue to do that. You know, the guys on the team do get a massive boost when they hear you guys in the, in the stands cheering for them. UTRGV Men's Soccer Head Coach Paul Lee, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it, Jonah. Thank you. UTRGV Men's Basketball Trails California Baptist 30 to 28 at the half. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll take a look at your first half numbers. This is UTRGV Men's Basketball on the WAC Digital Network and Q94.5, the rock station. In the minute it takes to knock back your drink, spot your new crush, or cheer on the home team, you could do something that really makes a difference. Sign up as an organ donor. In less than a typical timeout, you could sign up to save eight lives. It sure beats using a minute to mustard that hot dog. Sign up at TOSA1.org. Come out and be a part of the hottest tailgate party in the Rio Grande Valley, Vaquero Village. A place to hang out, network, and get ready for UTRGV basketball games. Tailgating at Vaquero Village means drinks, good food, and a family-friendly atmosphere, complete with a bounce house. You can even reserve an exclusive lounge area for your family, friends, or corporate party. Just give us a call at 956-665-3877, and we'll help you get the party started. You've waited long enough. Now let us wait on you at the Santa Fe Steakhouse and Cantina. Experience an enchanting escape where our creative chefs, attentive staff, 600 wine selection, delicious cocktails, live music, award-winning steak and seafood are all designed for a very special guest, you. Claim your steak at the Santa Fe Steakhouse and Cantina in McAllen.
Back we are at the U-Charge V Fieldhouse alongside Jonah Goldberg. I'm Brian Smith. The half, U-Charge V trails CBU 30 to 28. Gives a chance to look at your first half stats. Big part of what was so successful for CBU is they were on fire offensively to open this one. They've hit four of their first 13 threes compared to just two of UTRGV's first 10 individually. Nine points for Flavors Jr. He's also got two rebounds. Six for Milan Aqua. He's got seven rebounds to lead the Lancer. Six rebounds for Davis. He's also put in a basket. Four points each for Boyd and Morrison. On the flip side, looking at UTRGV. Big start for Jordan Jackson, 10 points. Six points also for Quentin Johnson the second on two three-pointers. Five for Fontaine. Three for Varner. That's a basket and a made free throw. He charged his lead in rebounds by Fontaine. He's got four. Senior night's been a big performance for him assist-wise. Think about this. Javon Levi has six assists and two of UCharge V's six steals in the early going, and that's what's powered this UCharge V team trying to battle back. Be interested to see what they can do in the second half. We will step aside and we come back. We will take a look around the WAC, look at seating scenarios and all of that fun. You're watching UCharge V's basketball on the WAC Digital Network and Q94.5, the rock station. There is a place where the Republic lives on. It is in our authentic Mexican cuisine, in our drinks, and our live entertainment. Come enjoy our historic ambiance and inviting staff, where the legacy of the Republic lives on. Viva la Revolución at the Republic of the Rio Grande. Support. Some call it the foundation of success. Joining the V-Club assists in the success of our student athletes. Preparing our student athletes for excellence in life. March 11th through the 14th, be a part of the madness and witness the triumph. Ticket information, go to waxsports.com. Welcome back out to the U-Charge V Fieldhouse. Alongside Jonah Goldberg, I'm Brian Smith at the half. U-Charge V Trails CBU 30 to 28. Let's take a look around the whack. This u charge GB game is not the only one in action out in Phoenix. CSU Bakersfield at the half, trails Grand Canyon 33 to 27. A big part of that, are you sitting down? Carlos Johnson has 23 first half points on a seven for 11 shooting, four for six from three point range and two rebounds. He is nearly single-handedly outscoring the runners going in to halftime. And here's what all that means for the standings over on the WAC. We know who seed one and who seed eight will be in the standings. Up the top, that's Mexico State. They're undefeated in conference at 6-0. and oh. At the bottom, Chicago State, 0-14, oh will be the eighth seed. Everything else in the middle has to shake itself out. And here's what those seeding scenarios look like. u Charge he picks up a victory and beats California Baptist. They are the two seed. If you charge if he loses to California Baptist and CC Bakersfield is successful in a comeback against Grand Canyon, you charge if he is the three seed. If you charge if he loses and Grand Canyon defeats CSU Bakersfield, you charge if he is the four. Grand Canyon, therefore, could be the three seed if they beat CSU Bakersfield and California Baptist defeats UTRGV, or they could fall as low as the six seed if they lose to CSU Bakersfield. Okay, the city could be the four or the five. Utah Valley could be the six or the seven, and Seattle U could be the two if California Baptist beats UTRGV. Utah Women's basketball fell in their season finale out in Riverside, California, 73 to 70. 
We'll take a timeout when we come back. It's the start of the second half. You're watching U Charger Men's Basketball on the WAC Digital Network and Q945, the rock station. Town Place Suites by Marriott, Edinburgh's newest destination spot and a host hotel of UTRGV Athletics with the amenities that a frequent long-stay traveler or visiting team in town to take on the V Nation looks for. The nightlife is amplified with Ignite Lounge, a great way to wrap up a long work day or celebrate a big win. Town Place Suites by Marriott on Trenton in between Business 281 and Sugar Road and minutes away from the excitement of UTRGV. Town Place Suites by Marriott, Edinburgh. There is a magic to this valley and to this university. We are champions in the arena, in the halls, and in our community. The Valley's pride. The Valley's future. The Valley's university. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, now open in Edinburgh, across the street from the university. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, a proud sponsor of UTRGV Athletics, showing everyone one love. Whether it's a pre-game meal or a post-game celebration, Raising Cane's has got you covered, open late and ready to serve. Raising Cane's, now open in Edinburgh, across from the university, serving nothing but one love. Back out to the UTRGV Fieldhouse. Start of the second half. UTRGV trail CBU 30 to 28. UTRGV ended the first half on a three from Quentin Johnson to cut into that deficit. They'll look to carry some of that momentum over as they start with possession here in the second half. Teams taking the floor for play-by-play. -play. Here's Jonah Goldberg. Well, thank you, Brian. Switch sides of the court. UTRGV in the white, moving left to right. California Baptist in the Navy, moving right to left. Jackson with a right elbow leaner is good. Ties the game at 30. So just as UTRGV used the buzzer beater to pull within two at the end of the first half, they used the first possession in the second half to tie the game. Varner with a steal. Levi bats it forward for Jackson, who puts up the jumper, doesn't go. Rebound, Parag, back we go the other way. Ball poked away by Varner again. Here come the Vaqueros up the right side. Varner stops at the foul line, turns, feeds Levi. Levi toward the baseline, stops. Bounce for Varner, into the lane. Drives over the shot, it gets fouled by Parag. Varner's heading to the line. Well, Leslie Varner single-handedly becoming a defensive force to open the second half, and then says, I can do a little bit on offense too. He sees that little gap in the defensive spread for the Lancers, attacks the rim, draws the contact. Varner from the foul line hits the first shot. Second shot is good. Qual replaces Davis for CBU as UTRGV takes the lead, 32 to 30. It's a 7-0 run for the Vaqueros, dating back to the final basket of the first half. Boyd comes into the lane, throws it up, no. Comes back out to Aqua, top of the key for three, swish. Aqua, three. Come on Aqua, reigning WAC player of the year. And Aqua's one of those shooters, that if you leave him open, especially the top of the key, he can just burn you. And you see if there a broken play that just kind of breaks out to him, and what does he do? He pulls up and just tickles the laces. Levi with the basketball at the top straight away. Yeah. 
Levi stops and pops from the left. It bounces in. Ron Levi's got his first points of the day. It's a one-point game. ETRGV on top, 34-33. 18 minutes to go. Down to Aqua for California Baptist. 34-33. UTRGV with the lead. 17-40 to play. Boyd into the lane. Throws it up with the right hand. No. Parag trying to tip it. Gets the rebound. Turns around. Goes up with a shot. Gets fouled. It's on Varner. Two on Varner. He's got two, Jackson's got three. That's a pretty good foul by Varner because he tries to knock that ball loose, draws the foul, but if he's not there, parag has got just a wide open dunk. There's nobody to contend with him. Now entering for your Vikings, number one, Sean, Sean Ray. Ray in, Isaiah Fontaine out for UTRGV. Brock gets the free throw. 35-34, California Baptist leads UTRGV, 17-20 to go. Levi tries for a layup, doesn't go. Here come the Lancers. Flavors left side jumper, bounces off the iron. Ray the rebound. Sends it head to Levi left side. Alley, oh! Oh, and it's back to the basket. Jordan Jackson puts it in. That might be his dunk of the year. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. That's going to be on top place tonight. You know, look at the replay right here, and that was spectacular. Jordan Jackson throwing it down when he can't even see the rim. UTR Javili, 36-35, 16 and a half minutes to play. Aqua comes through two defenders. Right elbow leaner is good. Puts the Lancers back up 37 36. Levi, hand off for Jackson. Jackson, the right wing for Varner. Puts up a jumper. No. Levi saves it. And ends up going out anyway. Just along the sideline instead of the baseline. Lancers ball. Davis in Prog out for California Baptist. 16.09 to play. 37-36 Lancers. Flavors misses the layup. Rebound Davis. Hops in the lane. Shot no good, but a foul. Free throws when we return, 15.51 to play. 37-36 California Baptist. This is UTRG Men's Basketball on the WAC Digital Network and Q94.5, the rock station. Draft House, civilized burgers for uncivilized appetites. We all want the best for our families, to love, to laugh, to live a healthy life. 
At UT Health RGV, we believe every family should have access to the most advanced medical care, right here, close to home. With over 100 board-certified doctors at 20 locations valley-wide, with life-saving procedures and treatments that keep you and your family healthy, UT Health RGV is here for you. High-quality care for every patient, for every family. Find your way to the best care at uthealthrgv.org. Here at Top Golf, we believe every shot is worth celebrating. Even that shot? Heck yeah. Break it down, girl. Oh. There's no pressure to be good here, like at all. What if I just want to chill? Then chill. That's what the sofas are for. This sofa? Yeah. Make yourself at home. What if I am at home? Then book a bay and get to Top Golf. Smashed it feels appropriate. Post a social, and <laughs> yep, your friends are so ridiculous. That's okay. It's everyone's game. One of our professional athletes for excellence in life. And it's time to become a part of something bigger. Support V Nation by joining the V Club. You can become a member of the V Club for just $100 a year. All the proceeds go directly to student athlete scholarships. So visit goyouchargeme.com slash V Club today to see how you can make a meaningful impact in the lives of student athletes. 15.51 to play. California Baptist leads UTRG 37-36. He's Brian Smith. I'm Jonah Goldberg. We're at the UTRG Fieldhouse in Edinburgh. It's senior night. Last home game of the regular season. John Davis is the first free throw to put CBU up two. Hits the second one, 39-36. The Caros trying to clinch the number two seed. It would be their highest seed in program history in the WAC tournament. Never been higher than the four, and that was this past year. They could do that with a win. With a loss, they'll drop to three or four, depending on the outcome of the Grand Canyon CSU Bakersfield game. That's a four point game with 18 minutes left right now. Grand Canyon up 36 32. Foul on Qual, UTRGV ball. And lost in all that skirmish is the fact that Javon Levi got laid out on a pick coming down the last time. There's Varner, left side jumper is good. The Carroll's within one, 39-38. Ball in the right corner, three ball up and in for Qual. CBU up 42-38. Varner, right corner, Freeman for three. Too strong, rebound Aqua. Here come the Lancers. Davis throws it up. It would have been good. But an offensive foul to UTRGV ball. Levi running the offense for the Vaqueros. Left wing three, air ball. Out of bounds, CBU ball. 14.06 to play, 42.38 Lancers. Well, the turnover disparity is 
definitely a new charge of East Favor. They forced 11, only committed four of their own. However, you charge UV is just not really putting the ball in at the same pace they had done over the last several games. Just shooting 36% from the floor. Aqua. With 12. Puts it up. No. Rebound Fontaine. Uh, Ray, back we go the other way. Utah TV can make it a one possession game with a basket here. Varner, the jumper off the back iron. Rebound Boyd. Boyd into the lane with a finger roll. Lancers by six. Timeout. UTRGV. Comes immediate timeout with 13.24 to play. 44.38 California Baptist. This is UTRGV Men's Basketball on the WAC Digital Network and Q94.5 The Rock Station. In the minute it takes to knock back your drink, spot your new crush, or cheer on the home team, you could do something that really makes a difference. Sign up as an organ donor. In less than a typical timeout, you could sign up to save eight lives. It sure beats using a minute to mustard that hot dog. Sign up at TOSA1.org. Come out and be a part of the hottest tailgate party in the Rio Grande Valley, Vaquero Village. A place to hang out, network, and get ready for UTRGV basketball games. Tailgating at Vaquero Village means drinks, good food, and a family-friendly atmosphere complete with a bounce house. You can even reserve an exclusive lounge area for your family, friends, or corporate party. Just give us a call at 956-665-3877 and we'll help you get the party started. You've waited long enough. Now let us wait on you at the Santa Fe Steakhouse and Cantina. Experience an enchanting escape where our creative chefs, attentive staff, 600 wine selection, delicious cocktails, and live music, award-winning steak and seafood are all designed for a very special guest, you. Claim your steak at the Santa Fe Steakhouse and Cantina in McAllen. game's over. The coverage continues on our website, GoUTRGV.com. You check out recaps, previews, highlights, feature stories, and so much more. And all you have to do is log on to GoUTRGV.com. Thirteen twenty-four to play, first, uh, second half. 44-38, <laughs> California Baptist. He's Brian Smith. I'm Jonah Goldberg. We're at the UTRGV Fieldhouse in Edinburgh. Final game of the regular season, the WAC tournament's in Vegas next week. UTRGV is going to go. They'll either be the two, three, or four seed, depending on the outcome of this game, and potentially the other game between TSU, Bakersfield, and Grand Canyon. Anthony Bratton puts it in, makes it a four-point game. UTRGV wins, they're the two seed. It's simple as that. If they lose, then it depends on the outcome of Grand Canyon and Bakersfield. Grand Canyon win would drop UTRGV to four. Bakersfield win would drop UTRGV to three. Well, the Carols would rather not deal with that. They'd rather just win. And rumor has it, if you can make it all the way out to Vegas, you can meet Jonah Goldberg in person. It's true. You could do that here in Edinburgh, too. But where's the fun in that? Shot clock violation. Great defense by UTRGV. The Carols ball. Jackson tumbles down. He got airborne, tried to pass it off. This goes out of bounds, CBU ball. Javon Levi in, Jordan Jackson out for UTRGV. Pressure from UTRGV. Inbound gets the flavors. Johnson giving in Majida. Pass comes ahead to Boyd. Coming up the right side. It's Paul. Along the baseline, McLean. All over him. Paul. Lobs the pass to Parag. Now back out to Boyd. 
18 on the shot clock. Boyd to Qual on the right wing. Qual comes in toward the baseline again. McLean all over him. Qual trying to get around him. Throws up the left hand. No. Rebound into the hands of Qual. Second opportunity for California Baptist. He's getting doubled. And he finally bumps Freeman. That's an offensive foul. UTRGB ball. That's what that UTRGB pressure does to you. It gets you kind of out of position. You're scrambling. You're trying to clear space. You got guys breathing on you. And in that case, Qual just trying to clear some space and get some vision. Puts a forearm right in the chest of Freeman and sends him scooting. Media timeout, 11.50 to play, 44-40 CBU. This is UTRGV Men's Basketball on the Lack Digital Network and Q94.5, The Rock Station. There is a place where the Republic lives on. It is in our authentic Mexican cuisine, in our drinks, and our live entertainment. Come enjoy our historic ambiance and inviting staff where the legacy of the Republic lives on. Viva la Revolución at the Republic of the Rio Grande. Support. Some call it the foundation of success. Joining the V-Club assists in the success of our student athletes. Preparing our student athletes for excellence in life. Moments that will never be forgotten. March was made for this. The 2020 WAC Basketball Tournament at the Orleans Arena in WAC Vegas. March 11th through the 14th, be a part of the madness and witness the triumph. Ticket information, go to WACSports.com. Hey, I've got a question for you. Do you need tickets to an upcoming u charge any baseball or basketball game? Well, How about free season tickets for a multi-sports pass for saving on season tickets to women, women's basketball, and baseball? Just log on to u charge me tickets right now to reserve your favorite seats. Definitely don't need tickets to an upcoming basketball game. Maybe next year. You can reserve your season tickets right now. Send an email to tickets at utrgv.edu if that's what you're trying to do. Anthony Bratton has the ball for UTRGV. Down four. Make it down two. He lays it in. 44-42 CBU. UTRGV on the comeback trail. 11.25 to go. Milan Aqua. Bounce for flavors left wing. Back out top to Aqua. Aqua pushes Freeman, finds room for a jumper, but he misses it. Frog the rebound, gives it to Boyd. Left corner, Nottage for three, bounces off the rim. Freeman the rebound, gets it to Levi. Hands off to Johnson, top of the key for three. Can't get it in, Frog the rebound. Hands it to Aqua, runs the offense. Ten forty to go. Chance of defense getting loud from the UTRGV faithful. On the right corner, Flavors. Along the baseline, pass to Parag. He shot. Foul on either Freeman or Bren. I mean, they were all over him. Freeman seems frustrated, but hey, that's a foul. And it's on Freeman. It's his third. So a quick look at your foul situation. Freeman's got three. Jackson's got three. Varner, Freeman, I'm sorry, Varner and McLean both have two for UTRGV. On the other side, for the Lancers, Aqua's got two, Davis has two, Poole has two. Parag gets them both. 46-42. California Baptist up by four. Levi running the offense for the Vaqueros. 
Hands it off for Johnson, give it back to Levi on his left. There's a lob for Bratton near the baseline in front of the Vaqueros bench. Bratton spins, pass it to McLean right side. Now to his left to Levi, 14, 13, 12 on the shot clock. Quick pass, Freeman comes in from the left. Spins, give it to Bratton, back to Freeman. Into the lane, Freeman gets fouled by Flavors while going up for a layup. The free throw's coming. Two on flavors. Freeman hits the first shot. Second free throw is good. 46-44, California Baptist lead is two. 10 minutes to go. Armstrong. Give it to Aqua. Aqua into the lane, pass out of the right wing for Armstrong. Now comes back to Nottage, pass left corner, Flavors. Knocked away with three on the shot clock, two. Flavors forces up a prayer. It's not answered. Rebound, Levi. Levi for Freeman, open three, short. Rebound, Levi. Underneath for Bratton, who taps it in, ties the game at 46. And Levi now has 10 assists. He is dishing. Ball right corner, three ball nottage is good. CBU responds, they go up 49-46. That's the seventh three-pointer for the Lancers compared to just two by UTRGV. That is what has fueled their offense, is being able to hit those long jumpers. Bratton with the right hand, no good. Rebound Nottage, hands it off to Aqua, and here come the Lancers. Aqua, behind the back pass to Davis for three. It's good, the big man can shoot a little. Lancers go up 52-46. 8.26, 8.25, time ticking down. Levi, top for McClay, and give it back out to Levi, left wing. Levi into the lane, stop, turnaround jumper is off the front iron. McLean skies for the rebound, and he lays it back in. It's a four-point game. Aqua up to the right corner, Nottage air balls a three into the hands of Levi. The Carrolls can make it a one possession game here. Levi comes in, throws it up with the right hand. No, Freeman trying to tip it. Out of bounds, Lancers ball when we return. 7.39 to play, 52-48 California Baptist. This is UTRGV Men's Basketball on the WAC Digital Network and Q94.5, The Rock Station. Town Play Suites by Marriott, Edinburgh's newest destination spot and a host hotel of UTRGV Athletics with the amenities that a frequent long-stay traveler or visiting team in town to take on the V Nation looks for. The nightlife is amplified with Ignite Lounge, a great way to wrap up a long work day or celebrate a big win. Town Play Suites by Marriott on Trenton in between Business 281 and Sugar Road and minutes away from the excitement of UTRGV. Town Play Suites by Marriott, Edinburgh. There is a magic to this valley and to this university. We are champions in the arena, in the halls, and in our community. The Valley's pride. The Valley's future. The Valley's university. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, now open in Edinburgh, across the street from the university. 
Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, a proud sponsor of UTRGV Athletics. Showing everyone one love. Whether it's a pregame meal or a postgame celebration, Raising Cane's has got you covered, open late and ready to serve. Raising Cane's, now open in Edinburgh, across from the university. Serving nothing but one love. Little kids with pom-poms. It's our Kitty Cheer Squad. That's how I've decided to name them. If you've got a better name, tweet at us. At Jonah UTRGV, at the best in one. Bunch of little kids at the top of the stands who have pom-poms, and they're screaming and cheering and jumping up and down. They've been doing it all game, and they certainly love to dance with the pep band as well. Great to see the youth of the Rio Grande Valley really getting involved. Little mini madness up there in Section F. You charge UV could use all the support they can muster right now. Down four, trying to come back on the comeback trail here against the CBU team that seems to be able to answer every run with a big three-pointer. 52-48, California Baptist, 7.28 to play. CBU basketball. Davis into the lane, throws up with the right hand, no. Rebound, Barner, back we go the other way. Levi, give it to Barner. Back to Levi. Hand off for Dibiamaka. Give it to Jackson on the reverse. Now to Levi. Levi shuttles it to Jackson. Comes in. Puts up the jumper. Doesn't fall. Rebound Nottage. Traveling! And Nottage taps his chest. Says, that's my bad. And Nottage stepped into Davis as Davis received that. So he kind of big man stutter steps to regain his balance after being run into by his teammate. That's a travel. Six fifty-five to go, a gift for UTRGV. Can they open the wrapping paper? Inbound down low to Varner, gets around his defender, misses the shot. Rebound, ends up in Jackson's hands. He's wide open for three. Off the back iron and out of bounds. It's CBU basketball. I get away with it. Six forty six to go. CBU coming in against the press. One of the Carrows drop back. Aqua across the timeline. Aqua comes in, give it to Davis at the top, launches a three, it's short. Rebound, batted out of bounds. UTRGV Off the Lanchers, UTRGV ball. Paul trying to get his coach's attention, say, hey, I don't think that was off of us, and Coach Croy just yells, just play. Yeah. Clap hands, just play. Varner, left side jumper, short. Rebound Lancers. Aqua dribbling it out, right sideline. And I guess the ball was too sweaty. They're wiping it off. Not from lack of effort. These two teams have been playing some high octane, body sacrificing basketball. You know, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Play stop to wipe the ball. I mean, maybe it happens during timeouts, but that's interesting. But like you said, it explains just how hard these two teams are playing. Varner with the steal. Going to the basket. He dunks! Fans love a dunk. Varner trying to get his team hyped. The bench is hyped. They're up, raising those hands. And now you charge me, he needs to stop. Chance of defense are getting as loud as I've heard all year. Davis with the ball, gets doubled, forces it up with the left hand, no, Ray the rebound, the Vaqueros can tie it or take the lead on this possession. Levi, bounce for Varner. Puts up the jumper, short. Rebound Boyd, sends it long ahead for Davis, who's dunk is swatted by Ray! 
They called the foul. But now Davis has to earn them from the line. Jordan Jackson was pretty excited. They looked at a referee. The referee looked back at him. And he walked the other way. And Coach Hill just staring. Oh, I'd love to see that again. Crowd gets super loud for Davis' first free throw. Coach Hill's trying to yell out some orders to his team. I doubt they could hear him. And this place is rocking tonight. Second shot is good, 54-50. CBU by four. The clock is at 5.06. Jackson, turnaround jumper is good. Two point game. Jordan Jackson's got 16. Aqua coming up right sideline. Ball's poked, Aqua keeps the dribble. 443, 442. Stolen by Jackson. Bounce for Levi, he lays it in! Ties the game at 54! Jordan Jackson. Timeout. Time out. California Baptist, a 30 second timeout. We'll keep it here with the game tied at 54 and 434 remaining. Get a chance to tell you what's coming up for you, Charger Men's basketball, after this was over. As if you didn't already know, it's Whack Vegas. Depending on the outcome of this one, you charge to be seeding, will be firmed up the 12th. That's the quarterfinals. You win there, you're playing again on the 13th. That's the semis. You win there, you're playing again on the 14th for a WAC championship. You win there, how about an NCAA tournament appearance? All on the cusp for UTRGV men's basketball. And going into that timeout, Jordan Jackson set up that play with a beautiful steal, a hard pass right to Levi, and immediately what's he do? Jordan Jackson's getting these fans hyped up, hands in the air, give me some noise. The graduate student on his last regular season game of his career here in the field house, trying to get the team rallied by these fans. The excitement as it came out of the timeout, and listen to this. Three for Flavors is good. He managed to get open on the left wing. Lancers by three. 57, 54, 420 to go. That quiets the crowd for a moment. Away from the ball, Jackson got pushed by Brandon Boyd and he yells, hey! And that's a foul on Boyd. His second. Think about the effort you tried to be put out here. CBU has hit seven more three-pointers than UTRGV. They've made six more free throws on seven more attempts, and somehow this UTRGV defense with 16 turnovers compared to just five of their own and just gutsy, gutsy play. Jackson hits the first free throw, two-point game. Has them within a basket of being tied in this one. Jackson's second shot is good. One point game, 57-56, California Baptist, four minutes to go. Aqua at the foul line, sends it ahead. There's a three, it's good for Qual. It's 60 to 56 with four minutes left. Lancers on top. Give the Lancers some credit. Every time you charge the musters, 
a comeback to be right back in it. They somehow find an open shooter and are able to hit a huge three. Jackson jumper from the right side is good. It's a two point game, 18 points. No, 20 points for Jordan Jackson. Cheryl Swoops loves it, her baby boy doing some work. This one's coming the other way. Offensive foul, UTR to be ball when we return. 323 to play, 60 to 58, California Baptist. This is UTR to be men's basketball on the WAC Digital Network and Q94.5, The Rock State. City Draft House, civilized burgers for uncivilized appetites. We all want the best for our families, to love, to laugh, to live a healthy life. At UT Health RGV, we believe every family should have access to the most advanced medical care right here close to home. With over 100 board certified doctors at 20 locations valley wide, with life saving procedures and treatments that keep you and your family healthy, UT Health RGV is here for you. High quality care for every patient, for every family. Find your way to the best care at uthealthrgv.org. Here at Top Golf, we believe every shot is worth celebrating. Even that shot? Heck yeah. Break it down, girl. Oh. There's no pressure to be good here, like at all. What if I just want to chill? Then chill. That's what the sofas are for. This sofa? Yeah. Make yourself at home. What if I am at home? Then book a bay and get to Top Golf. Smashed it feels appropriate. Post a social and <laughs> yep, your friends are so ridiculous. That's okay. It's everyone's game. Welcome back out to the U Charge V Field House. Alongside Joan LeBert Goldberg, I'm Brian Smith. There's some of the UTRGV cheer and dance team. They're excited. The fans are excited. UTRGV within 60 to 58 of the CBU Lancers in a game that has been back and forth and worth every cent of admission. You charge me has the ball coming off the timeout and for play by play. Here's Jonah Goldberg. Well, thank you, Brian. Jackson puts it up as he falls to the ground, doesn't fall. Rebound goes out of bounds, CBU basketball. You know, it's a two-point game with 3.07 left. I feel I'm obligated to point out that a year ago when these two teams met in the regular season finale here at the Fieldhouse, it went to overtime. It's worth mentioning. Throwing it out there. In a game where Milan Aqua went out very early. Ejected after two minutes for punching Javon Levi in the face. And CB mm. somehow was able to gut themselves back into it without their leading score. That happens sometimes, you know. And that'll motivate a team sometimes. Levi, top of the key, Jackson. Comes inside with the left hand, misses, gets his own rebound, puts it up, and in! Two-point game. 2.22 to go, make a wish. Aqua is in for Davis, stolen by Varner. He can tie it or take the lead, but he'll get fouled instead. One and one coming up for CBU. And they may go over, look at this on the monitor because that might have been a flagrant foul. He wrapped Varner up as Varner went by. And they are actually going to review it. With 128 seconds left in regulation, and California Baptist up 62 60. Upgrading that foul would be huge. Then, free throws and the ball. I mean, as, as soon as that foul was initially called, Coach Hill throws his hands up. Javon Levi throws his hands up. They were campaigning 
for that to be elevated immediately. And they may have an argument here for seeing it live. It looked to me like he didn't just foul Varner. He grabbed and put him in a bear hug as he went by. So the officials at the replay monitor checking it over. While both teams head back to their huddles. Two minutes and eight seconds to go. 62 to 60, California Baptist. Let's do some scoreboard watching. There's three minutes left in Grand Canyon, or in Phoenix, technically. Grand Canyon, a 56-48 lead over CSU Bakersfield. They go with a regular old foul, personal foul. So just two free throws for Varner. Or one on one actually, because that's only the ninth foul. Varner's three for three from the line today. He's got nine points and seven steals. Varner's first shot is good. Second shot is good. Ties the game at 62. 128 seconds to go. Full court pressure from UTRGV coming to Aqua. And everybody drops back. Two minutes, two minutes remaining regulation. Aqua, right wing three. Off the back iron. Rebound call. He gets swarmed and forces it out to Aqua. Now Boyd on left wing, left corner. Flavors drains a three. Timeout, time California Baptist. Time and if there's a hot hand on this Lancers team, it's Flavors. He has hit five three pointers. He's five for six from three point range. And somehow they always seem to find him on a broken play. And he has been burning UTRGV from long range. You're getting hooked up with a raise in case. Buy one, get one free box combo coupons as you exit up the east side door. 65-62, California Baptist, a minute 43 to go. Shoot UTRGV, pick up the victory Levi across the timeline. Hand off for Dibiamaka. Give it to Jackson. Left to Levi. The lob for Varner at the foul line. Thought about it. Gives it to left wing Levi. He's open for three. Off the back iron. Ray tips the rebound. Dibiamaka skies to get it. Give it to Levi. 16 on the shot clock. Minute 19 game clock. Levi gives it to Varner. Varner. Into the lane, throws it up. Davis with the block out of bounds and stays with the UTRGV. <laughs> Timeout, UTRGV. A minute 11 to play, eight on the shot clock, and UTRGV is going to take a timeout to draw up a play. Make sure they get some points out of this one. It's a big possession. This is where. Decisions have to be made. Do you look for an open three, or if you've got a clean two, do you take it? If you're me, I say you take it. Get those points, get back on defense, see if you can force a turnover. If you can't, get the foul, make the Lancers take some free throws, and then try to come back on the other end and get your baskets. The Kitty Cheerleader squad jumping up and down in the aisles with their pom-poms. 71 seconds left. California Baptist leading UTRGV 65-62. Eight on the shot clock. Come out of the timeout. Javon Levi will inbound, stage left of the basket. He's got Dibiamaka, Varner, Jackson, and Ray. Those are his options from left to right. Everybody in motion, and as Levi gets ready to inbound, there's a foul before the inbound. 
And that's 10 on CBU. That means two free throws without the clock moving. If you're CBU, that's a worst case scenario. If you're UTRGV, it's not a best case scenario, but it's a scenario you will take. A chance to put points on the board without moving the clock. And it's Varner going to the line for two. He's five for five from the line today. And you got a fourth foul on Davis, who was 11 points and nine rebounds today. I think that worked out pretty well for UTRGV. Well, now they're going to review it. I think that's the right call to make. Make sure what you thought you saw is what you saw. Well, whatever they were reviewing, that was quick because only one official went to the monitor. He was there for five seconds. So I don't think they were reviewing the foul. I think they were making sure they hadn't inbounded yet because the clock didn't move. Maybe making sure that the clock wasn't supposed to move. Varner, it's the first free throw. Boyd in for out for CBU. Let's see if they can get a call on the foul. Varner's second shot is good. 65 64. UTRGV within one, 71 seconds left. Need a stop. Aqua with the ball. Taking it down, Levi up against him. Aqua across the timeline. 20 on the shot clock. One minute to go. Chance of defense getting loud. Aqua. Six on the shot clock. Five. Forces it up. No. Davis the rebound. Throws up with the right hand and in. CBU by three, 67-64. Varner for the tie, he rims out. Batted out of bounds. UTRGV ball. Initially called UTRGV ball. They're gonna review that. Coach Croy immediately start yelling, no, no. I, I thought it was off UTRGV with the naked eye. But there's so many bodies out there screening us that hard to see. Hard to know for sure if there was somebody there who could have tipped it. So the officials will quickly go check it with 32.4 ticks of the clock remaining. If this is UTRGV ball, they can try and make it a one point game or, and then hope CBU misses some free throws, although they're 14 for 17 from the line. They could go to try to tie it with a three. If it's CBU ball, with a 2.4 second differential between the shot clock and game clock on a possession change, UTRG would have to foul if they don't get a steal within the first few seconds. And I think if you're UTRGV, you're hoping with all hope that this ball points your way. You can try to draw up something right here to get a good look at an open three. Not that UTRGV has excelled at hitting them today. They're just two for 18 from three-point range, but when the game matters the most, you never know what can happen. It's a long review. Which tells me it's not obvious. They're having to look pretty closely. And perhaps there's a couple touches there. Well, here's the thing. The call on the floor is UTRGV ball. So unless that there is absolute evidence of overturning the call, then it has to stand. And it will. UTRGV ball. Official goes over to talk to Coach Troy. And it's Vaquero's ball, 21 on the shot clock, 32.4 game clock. That's huge. Let's see what they do. Ball guarding the inbound. Jackson, bounce for Ray, give it back to Jackson. 18, 17 on the shot clock. Jackson falling down, finds Levi at midcourt. 
13 on the shot clock, 12. Levi, an NBA three. It's good! <laughs> Ties the game at 67! And I remember, Aqua hit a buzzer beater a week ago at Seattle. Seven seconds left, six. Five. Here comes off one to the lane with three. Pass it underneath. Dump try. No. Rebound Ray. And we are going to overtime. And Coach Hill screaming at the official saying he was trying to call overtime. Uh, trying to call a timeout rather. But because it was so loud, they couldn't hear him. They couldn't, and they were on the other side of the court. They couldn't see him. He wants two seconds back. The officials are talking at midcourt. But Coach Hill goes into the huddle to start talking about what they're going to do for overtime. Is it? I don't think they're going to overturn that. So the end of regulation, we are tied at 67. Wow, Brian. Come for the basketball, stay for the theatrics. To say this is worth the price of admission is probably not fair to the effort these two teams have put out on the floor. This has been a nail to nail, absolute dogfight from the opening tip. And what more would you expect on senior night, season, regular season finale, than for UTRGD and CBU to go to overtime? This is ridiculous. <laughs> you said it, Jonah Goldberg. <laughs> Put five minutes up on the clock. That's how overtime works. You play five minutes. If there's no winner after five minutes, you play another five minutes, and so on and so forth. And if you're wondering, is there a limit on overtime? Just ask Captain America. I could do this all day. Seven sixty-seven. Start of the overtime. CBU wins the tip. They're moving right to left in the navy. UTRG left to right in the white. Aqua underneath to Davis. Misses the layup. Rebound to Miyamaka. Pack we go the other way. Levi for Jackson. Right wing three. Doesn't go. Rebound Boyd. Here come the Lancers. And this crowd has been incredible. This is a postseason atmosphere right here. Chance of defense getting loud again. Davis in the lane, left hand layup, no. Rebound Ray, back we go the other way. Levi across the timeline. Dribbling it out on the right wing. Four minutes. Give it to Varner. Baseline, give it to Ray to his left. The jumper, no. Rebound, Aqua. Aqua with the finish. Puts CBU up 69-67 with 3.33 to play. And a timeout. UTRGV becomes immediate timeout. Let's step aside in overtime, 69-67. This is UTRGV basketball on the WAC Digital Network at Q94.5 The Rock Station. In the minute it takes, do not back your drink. Spot your new crush or cheer on the home team, you could do something that really makes a difference. Sign up as an organ donor. In less than a typical timeout, you could sign up to save eight lives. It sure beats using a minute to mustard that hot dog. 
Sign up at TOSA1.org. Come out and be a part of the hottest tailgate party in the Rio Grande Valley, Vaquero Village. A place to hang out, network, and get ready for UTRGV basketball games. Tailgating at Vaquero Village means drinks, good food, and a family-friendly atmosphere complete with a bounce house. You can even reserve an exclusive lounge area for your family, friends, or corporate party. Just give us a call at 956-665-3877 and we'll help you get the party started. You've waited long enough. Now let us wait on you at the Santa Fe Steakhouse and Cantina. Experience an enchanting escape where our creative chefs, attentive staff, 600 wine selection, delicious cocktails, and live music, award-winning steak and seafood are all designed for a very special guest. You. Claim your steak at the Santa Fe Steakhouse and Cantina in McAllen. Welcome back out to the UTRGV Fieldhouse. Alongside Brian Smith, I'm Jonah Goldberg. 3.33 to play in the first overtime. California Baptist leads UTRGV 69-67 after Milan Aqua Jumper, the only basket of the overtime period thus far. Jordan Jackson in his potentially final home game, leading UTRGV with 22 points. Three assists, two blocks, and a steal. Leslie Varner's got 13 points and seven steals. That's a career high. Javon Levi with the ball for UTRGV running the offense. Levi comes into the lane. Underneath, finds Ray. Traveling. Lancer's ball. Lancer's ball. Ray kind of hitting himself on the chest. He caught that in a good spot, just couldn't control it. And then by the time he gained possession, the Lancers had him on the ropes. And as he tried to clear some space, he ends up traveling. Aqua across the timeline. Steal by Levi. And he calls the 30-second timeout before he has to risk losing possession. So he dove to the ground to get the ball along the baseline. And he's able to call a 30 second timeout. Three minutes left in overtime, flat. 69 67, California Baptist. This Rose. has been a spectacular game, but you want to talk about effort. Javon Levi in overtime is still throwing his body around and has the wherewithal not only to pick that up, but to get the timeout and give his chance, his team, a chance to come back down and get a tie. Grand Canyon just beat CSU Bakersfield 62 to 61. I mean, what else could happen on the last night of regular season basketball? You're going to have two games of the week on the same evening. Levi dribbling it out for UTRGV. Layup would have would not have been good, but he got fouled on the floor. It doesn't matter. It's two free throws either way. Because they're over the limit. So it's all up to UTRGV now. They win, they're the two seed, they lose, and they'll be the four. That's a big swing. If you're the two seed, hey, it's program history for one, but never been higher than four before, and that was last year. The other thing is, that's the difference between sides of the bracket. If you're the four seed, if you win your first game, you're playing either one or eight, so probably New Mexico State in the semifinals. Whereas if you're the two or three seed, if you're worried about the one seed, which you should be, they're undefeated in black play, you avoid them till the championship. 
So 69-68 after Levi. It's a free throw. Aqua layup good in the foul. The Lancers now up 71-68. You know what? That game's not actually over. It said zero on the clock on the live stats, but GCU just scored a point. Something must have happened with a foul as time was expiring, so I don't know if Vegas will have a chance for a shot. Now they're up 64-61. Pull up the live stream to confirm. Varner, right wing, three is good! It's a one-point game, 72-71. Time for the officials to make sure it's a three. In the meantime, that Grand Canyon game did just go final, 64-61. They beat CSU Bakersfield, so there was a foul, I guess, with no time left. I think this should be a quick review, because. Varner wasn't even close. There was plenty of space back there. That should have been a three. In this kind of game with so much at stake, leave nothing a chance. So what it means for the standings, New Mexico State's the one. Seattle U, they don't know yet. They'll be the two or the three, depending on the outcome of this game. If UTRGV wins, they're the three. If UTRGV loses, they're the two. The four seed could still be UTRGV if they lose, or Grand Canyon if UTRGV wins. The eight seed is Chicago State, the six seed is Utah Valley, the seven seed is CSU Bakersfield, and the five seed is Kansas City. That was not a numerical order, but the point is, all that remains to be settled is two, three, four. So Grand Canyon, Seattle U, and UTRGV, all their seeds hinge on the next two minutes and 17 seconds. How about that? So if UTRGV wins this game, they'll be the two seed, and that would make give them a first round matchup with CSU Bakersfield. And they're gonna change Varner's shot to a two. They'll say his toe was two on the line. Play. Three point play. Two point play. And the Boo Birds break out. Now you try to, he's gotta play some defense. 217 to play. Boyd inbound for Qual. Gives it to Boyd. Here come the defense chance. Jackson tipped it, Flavors picks it back up, Aqua. Has it out at midcourt. Aqua from the foul line, the jumper is good. CBU up 74-70. Foul on California Baptist. Third on Qual. They've got a couple guys in foul trouble. Davis has four fouls, 13 points and 10 rebounds. Aqua's got four fouls, 18 points, nine rebounds, eight assists. Varner hits the first shot, one possession game. Second shot is good, two point game. 74 72, a minute 43 to go. Boyd. 
Across the timeline. Hand it off to Aqua. Ten on the shot clock. Aqua comes around to the right, turns around, feeds Qual, comes inside, loses it. Timmy Malkin's got it. Head to Levi, two on two, comes into the lane, give it to Jackson, who puts it up. Good! And the foul! the pendulum swings he ties the game at 74 and can give UTRGV the lead with a good free throw <laughs> 71 seconds remaining in overtime Off the front iron. Tie game, 63, 62, 61. One minute to go. Aqua looking underneath, stolen by Levi. Here come the Vaqueros. Into the lane, Levi gives it off to Ray. Back to Levi in the left corner, and I'll start off a new play. Timeout, UTRGB. The full timeout. That might be all they have left with 44.9 ticks of the clock remaining and the game tied at 74. However you're taking this in, make sure your device is plugged up and has plenty of charge because you don't want to miss the end of this one. If you are in your car driving and you have reached your destination, do not get out of your vehicle. Wow. Tied at 74 between UTRGV and California Baptist. With history hanging in the balance. Trying to be the two seed for the first time in program history. And you just think about the turnaround. A month ago, UTRGV was six and 14. They were six and 14. And now, they're 13 and 16. They have been seven and two, had a fantastic February, trying to be eight and two in the last 10 entering the WAC tournament. So what I'm hearing is they're peaking at the right time. To say the least. <laughs> they were two and five in the WAC after seven games, and now a chance to be the two seed in the LAC tournament. What a turnaround. And they have, all they have to do is outscore CBU by one over the next 44.9 seconds. Game tied at 74 in overtime. Jackson inbounds to Levi. Levi into the lane, sends it out to Varner in the left wing. Barner backs it up with nine. He's got eight, seven. Barner, floater. In and out, but he did get fouled. Free throws coming with 30 seconds flat remaining. The atmosphere in the Utah G Fieldhouse right now is electric. These fans are on the edge of their seats. They are breathing with every step taken by the players on this floor. This has been a spectacular night of basketball. Varner's first shot is good. Second shot is good. UTR GB leads 76 74. 30 seconds left. Time out, California Baptist. It's a full timeout. Now they need to draw up a play to try and tie it or take the lead. Probably try and tie it. 
down two. 30 seconds left in overtime. Although the way the Lancers have been shooting the three, they've made 11 tonight. You gotta think if they get even remotely close to an open look at three, they're probably gonna take it and then crash the boards. See what you can make happen. They're shooting better from behind the arc than inside the arc today, so there's logic in that. Particularly if you can find flavors. He's five for six from downtown. Now after that, I mean, Qual's two for four. He's had himself a nice game. Here's a number for you. California Baptist has out-rebounded UTRGV 54 to 36 today. But UTRGV has forced 21 turnovers while committing just six. And UTRGV has outscored California Baptist 23 to three off of turnovers today. That'll do it. That'll make up for a rebounding deficit in a heartbeat. And it did. You don't have to win in every statistical category. You just have to win in the scoreboard. 30 seconds left, 76-74 UTRGV. Chance of defense are loud. Boyd across the timeline for California Baptist with the shot clock off. There are no rush. Boyd launches a long two. It doesn't go. Davis the rebound. The putback is good. Tied at 76. 11.1 seconds left. Levi up to Varner. Varner for the lead. Yes! Three seconds left. Here comes Flavors for the win. It bounces off the rim. UTRGV wins. UTRGV wins. UTRGV wins. 78-76 in overtime. Take a look at that elation. They announced to the crowd that the Vaqueros have earned the two seed in the WAC tournament for the first time in program history. And that got a huge round of applause from the UTR to be faithful. Jordan Jackson ran over courtside to hug his mom, Cheryl Swoops. Handshakes, high fives, and hugs in the line. UTRGV pulls off a 79-76 overtime victory over California Baptist to earn the two seed in next week's Western Athletic Conference Tournament. Oh, we've got so much left to do. Let's take a timeout. When we come back, we'll go over your final numbers. And during the postgame, we'll also be joined by UTRGV head coach Lou Hill. This is UTRG Men's Basketball on the WAC Digital Network and Q94.5, The Rock Station. There is a place where the Republic lives on. It is in our authentic Mexican cuisine, in our drinks, and our live entertainment. Come enjoy our historic ambiance and inviting staff where the legacy of the Republic lives on. Viva la Revolución at the Republic of the Rio Grande. Support. Some call it the foundation of success. Joining the V-Club assists in the success of our student athletes. Preparing our student athletes for excellence in life.
Welcome back out to the UTRGV Fieldhouse alongside Brian Smith. I am Jonah Goldberg. UTRGV takes down California Baptist 79 to 76 in overtime. In the final game of the regular season to clinch the number two seed in the Western Athletic Conference Tournament. Wow, what a finish for UTRGV. An incredible game for the Vaqueros. An incredible win. Eight and two in their final 10 leading up to the WAC Tournament. I mean, that's just, that's everything. And to say this was a game for the record books might be an understatement. Yes, you tried to pick up a huge victory. They're now the two seed in the conference tournament. But think about what a gut check this was for a team like UTRGV. You had to expel so much energy. CBU had you on the ropes several times in regulation, in overtime. And to be able to dig deep, to gut that out and come away with a victory speaks volumes to what Coach Hill has done with this program. And in front of an incredibly raucous and loud Rio Grande Valley crowd. Hashtag rally the valley, Brian. Oh, they are rallied all over the place. I'm looking forward to Ag Vegas. I think this is a U-Charge V team that could scare a lot of people. Their defense is good. They have found a really strong offense as of late. Eight and two in their last ten. Spectacular. So UTRGV defeats California Baptist 79 to 76 in overtime. We look at some of the final numbers first for California Baptist. 18 points, 10 rebounds, 8 assists for Milan Aqua. 15 points, 11 rebounds for Dijon Davis. 15 points for Ron Flavors Jr. 7 points, 10 rebounds, Zach Parag. 6.6 .6 boards, Brandon Boyd. 6 points for Bull Qual. Four, uh, 5 points for Reed Nottage. 4 for Glenn Morrison. California Baptist was 25 of 66 from the, 67 from the field. That's 37%. 11 for 26 from downtown. And they shot the lights out of the ball from beyond the arc. And 15 for 18 from the line. 55 rebounds, 17 offensive yards. 36 and 10 by UTRGV. And the is led by Jordan Jackson. 24 points in what could be his final home game. 11 of 21 shooting. Two rebounds, three assists, a steal, and two blocks. How about Leslie Varner? So he finished with 22 points. Okay. He had three at halftime. So A good second half, you would say. 19 points in the second half in overtime. 11 for 11 from the line. Seven steals for Varner. After that, eight points, five rebounds, 13 assists, five steals for Javon Levite. My goodness, he filled up the stat sheet. And even more so than that, think about what he did defensively. He was the player for UTRGV that carried the mantle of having to defend Milan Aqua. And he was on Aqua at every turn. Anytime Aqua touched the ball, Levi was somewhere in the vicinity, swinging hands, body checking, and he kept Aqua off his toes. And I think that was a key to keeping that CBU offense from catching fire. Six points for Quinton Johnson, six points for Anthony Bradton, five points, four rebounds for Isaiah Fontaine who provided some critical minutes in the first half of senior yeah. day. And he gets the start as a senior, and what a way to set the tone for what Uchargy was going to do in the low post, to come in, play strong. He was a huge rebounder for Uchargy early when the shots just weren't falling to keep those possessions rolling. Four points for Chris Freeman. Two points for Rob McLean. Two for Connor Reigns. Uchargy 28 for 73 from the field, 38%. They were four for 21 from downtown and 19 for 23 from the line. Points off turnovers was huge. 23 to three, UTRGV outscored California Baptist because they, UTRGV forced 21 turnovers. They only committed six. That's a plus 20 in the in the points right there. And without that, UTRGV doesn't win this game. And it's been their defense all year long. You know, they are top 10 in the nation in turnovers forced and turnover margin. They have been all year. And that is a big reason why UTRGV is gonna be the two seed in the WAC tournament next week. Points in the paint, UTRGV won that one, 30 to 26. 
Fast breaks, Pink Chairs be dominated 24 to six. On the second chance, CBU had the edge 20 to 14. There were 12 lead changes and 10 ties. We give you all these numbers, but the only ones that matter, 79 to 76, UTRGV defeats California Baptist at the UTRGV Fieldhouse on Senior Day. So UTRGV improves to 14 and 16. They finish WAC play 9 and 7. California Baptist 21 and 10, 10 and 6 in the WAC. UTRGV will enter the WAC tournament as the number two seed. They will face off against seventh seeded CSU Bakersfield. And the winner of that game will take on the winner of the 3-6 game, which is between Seattle U and Kansas City, if I remember correctly. All those games next week, they'll be on, if you're in the United States, they're on ESPN Plus for the quarterfinals and semifinals, the championship on ESPN U and ESPN 3 online. Uh, internationally on the WAC Digital Network. And, of course, we'll have an audio stream as well with a link at goutrgv.com. So don't feel like you have to get a subscription to ESPN3, ESPN+. Plus. You can tune in and listen to us instead. We're very happy to have you along. The UTRGV defeats California Baptist 79-76 in overtime. close out the regular season. Let's take a break. When we come back, expected to be joined by UTRGV head coach Lou Hill. This is UTRGV men's basketball on the WAC Digital Network and Q94.5, the rock station. Town Play Suites by Marriott, Edinburgh's newest destination spot and a host hotel of UTRGV Athletics with the amenities that a frequent long-stay traveler or visiting team in town to take on the V-Nation looks for. The nightlife is amplified with Ignite Lounge, a great way to wrap up a long work day or celebrate a big win. Town Play Suites by Marriott on Trenton in between Business 281 and Sugar Road and minutes away from the excitement of UTRGV. Town Play Suites by Marriott, Edinburgh. There is a magic to this valley and to this university. We are champions in the arena, in the halls, and in our community. The Valley's pride. The Valley's future. The Valley's university. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, now open in Edinburgh, across the street from the university. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, a proud sponsor of UTRGV Athletics, showing everyone one love. Whether it's a pregame meal or a postgame celebration, Raising Cane's has got you covered, open late and ready to serve. Raising Cane's, now open in Edinburgh, across from the university, serving nothing but one love. Back we are at the UTRGV Fieldhouse. Alongside Brian Smith, I'm Jonah Goldberg. UTRGV men's basketball defeats California Baptist 79 to 76 in overtime to close out the regular season. UTRGV eight and two in its final 10. UTRGV clinches the number two seed in next week's WAC tournament for the first time in program history. And they will face off against third seed Seattle, uh, seventh seed CSU Bakersfield on Thursday at 8 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. in Vegas on ESPN Plus. Then they go on to take on either number three Seattle U or number six Utah Valley in the semifinals on Friday at 10.30 Central Time on ESPN Plus. Championship game set for Saturday, 9 p.m. on ESPN U. If you're international and you're saying, wait, I can't watch ESPN Plus, don't worry. It'll be on the WAC Digital Network for the international viewers about back down the U.S. We'll also have an audio-only feed for those who don't want to uh, get the subscription. Go to GoUTRGV.com, and we're happy to have you along. Uh, Brian and I will be out in Vegas bringing you all of the action of the WAC tournament. Hopefully three games for UTRGV, and, you know, they're in that 2-7, then the winner of 3-6. They avoid the Big Bad Wolf, New Mexico State, assuming they make it to the championship game. They're 16 and 0 in WAC. You know they went undefeated, so I think everybody assumes you know until somebody beats them, that's who they are. 
That is absolutely who they are. As UTRGV comes in on a high, eight and two in their final 10. Entering the WAC tournament, now joined by UTRGV head coach Lou Hill and coach. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what that was, a wow, you know. Man, I'm so happy for our seniors, happy for, the, for, for our team from where we come from, where we started to where we are now, finished the season with a, uh, uh, what was it, winning eight out of ten. Man, what a, what a, what a, what a marvelous, marvelous day going into a WAC tournament. As the number two seed for the first As time the in number two history. seed in the history. So we, we would, that's what we came here for, to make history. People kept saying, you know, you, you can't do it here, and I'm just crazy and, crazy and naive enough to think you can. can. You know, I got I got a, a great staff, great bosses, really good growing university, great team, and we're excited. Talk about those seniors, Coach. Varner and Jackson both break more than 20 points on senior night. They gave you just intense effort everywhere on the floor. What does it mean to have that type of performance from those guys in their last regular season home game? Oh, man, it means everything. And then just to see Leslie hit that last shot to win it, a senior to win it. Matter of fact, I think he just hit two in a row because he started off real slow. And then, you know, he was anxious, and him and Jordan and Javon was anxious. They was trying to do, and, you know, I told him, let's, let's don't do it by ourselves. Let's do it together. And once we started getting back to playing the way that we know how to play, then we started changing. But we let them, you know, they're a very good team, man. They, they in, you know, but they won 10, 10, 10 conference games. So they're a very good team, very well coached. But it was it was the Vaccaro night tonight. It absolutely was. And how about this crowd? Love it. The crowds has been good all year. You know, especially the second half and the conference has been good. I want to thank all the students, all the all the administrations. I want to thank the whole valley for coming out and supporting us because we needed every person yelling, screaming, hollering tonight. But that's what we should have. You know, what a great home atmosphere. We don't want to go to other places with great home atmospheres. We want people to come here and say, the best home atmosphere is in Edinburgh, Texas at UTRGB. Well, Coach, two seed in the WAC tournament, eight and two in your last 10. Huge, huge congratulations. Thank you. See you in Vegas, baby. Absolutely. UTRGB defeats California Baptist 79-76 in overtime. And now they await a quarterfinal WAC tournament matchup Thursday, 8 p.m. Central Time at the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas against seventh-seeded CSU Bakersfield on ESPN Plus in the U.S. on the WAC Digital Network internationally and then audio only worldwide. Go to goutrgv.com for the link. That'll do it for us from the UTRGV Fieldhouse. I'd like to thank everybody out there for tuning in. This has been a presentation of UTRGV Men's Basketball. For more information, you can log on to goutrgv.com. If you want to reach us, you can add us. I'm Matt Jonah, UTRGV. He's at the vested one. But now for my partner in crime, the one, the only, Brian Smith, our entire production crew all season long, and of course, Jack Falla, wherever you are, this is Jonah Goldberg saying good night from the UTRGV Fieldhouse. UTRGV wins 79-76 in overtime. Town Place Suites by Marriott, Edinburgh's newest destination spot, and a host hotel of UTRGV Athletics with the amenities that a frequent long-stay traveler or visiting team in town to take on the V-Nation looks for. The nightlife is amplified with Ignite Lounge, a great way to wrap up a long work day or celebrate a big win. Town Place Suites by Marriott on Trenton in between Business 281 and Sugar Road and minutes away from the excitement of UTRGV. Town Place Suites by Marriott, Edinburgh. There is a magic to this valley and to this university. We are champions in the arena, in the halls, and in our community. The valley's pride. The valley's future. The valley's university. 
Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, now open in Edinburgh, across the street from the university. Raising Cane's